Hey guys, if you're watching this now, I am no longer live. Let me pull up my screen. Okay, sorry if it's a little dark. I'm in my garage and I don't want to open my garage door in case any wasps fly in and try to attack me. Neely, I know you know what I'm talking about. I hate them. Okay. So I'm just going to do this real quick. I have a couple lives lined up for you guys and I had this cut already in the making so I figured I would, I would just go ahead and uh, do a live on it for you guys. So sorry if it's a little dark. I have like really strong lights but it gets kind of hot if I turn those on. So hopefully you guys will be able to at least see a little bit. I don't know. Eh. Mm -hmm. Whatever. I tried switching sides. Ayo. That reminds me of the Queen song. <laughs> Alright. So, I know a lot of you guys have requested a tutorial on this. And it is a lot more simple than I think a lot of you guys think. So, I do mine two different ways. So, I can I either do it with regular paint white stars and stripes or like this one um it's glitter my dogs are going crazy because they hear me barking ah, hang on let me let her out here she thinks somebody is here oh wait what are you doing there's nobody here it's just me talking in my garage by myself oh my dogs are crazy they heard me talking to myself out here and thought somebody else was here. But it's not. Alright, so this one, we're going to have glitter stripes and stars. So, I went ahead and did a couple steps just to save on time. But, uh, <laughs> uh, she wouldn't even care, I don't think. <laughs> so, for this, if you want my glitter stars and stripes, I just glittered the tumbler um, until it was smooth. <laughs> and um, epoxied it, or sorry, glittered and then epoxied. Hey, Zoe. Oh, sorry. We're going to try to get through this live without my dogs driving me crazy. All right, so once it's smooth, I put the vinyl on. Um, I just use whatever vinyl I have on hand, and I usually print like a full sheet of it like a full 12 by 12 sheet so I have like extra um, vinyl in case I want to do another one and this was some file that I purchased a very 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 long time ago and then I modified it so I made like I cut out like the different shapes out of the stars I think these were just regular stars um, and then I just like sliced it different ways in Cricut Design Space and then when I got a cameo, I just took like a screenshot of my computer and then uploaded it into Silhouette and like transferred it to Silhouette file um, and saved it that way. So I just print it all out. I don't even use transfer tape to apply it. I just like take one off at a time and stick it wherever. Um, so then you just kind of have them all over wherever you want. I mean, they're all gonna turn out different. So I'm not really too concerned with like the placement of them. So, and if you don't want glitter, then just paint this white. Zoe, please move. Get Zoe. Oh my God. Go. Ugh. She's like a 75 pound dog that thinks she's a puppy. All right, so then what you're gonna need, or, or at least what I use, are, I'm like literally almost out of this stuff, guys, so. I hope I have enough for it. <laughs> See, they're like almost empty. I got red last time, but I forgot to get blue. So this one is sunrise red. I don't even, I think sometimes I use fire engine red. I just, 
it doesn't really matter. And this one, I don't know. Is there even a color on here? <gasps> I don't know. It's just blue. I don't see a color. Do y'all know where the colors are? You can... Um, Jennifer, I don't ever epoxy before I put, um, before I add the decals on. I just never have. And then this one is just a navy blue. Sail blue? <laughs> Where do you see the color? Oh, there it is. Look at that. Y'all are smart. All right, so I would usually have like my whole like fan and filter and stuff like set up here, but I'm not gonna do all that just for one cup. So y'all can just bear with me. So, and also I'm doing this like super speed <laughs> because I'm usually this would be done in like a couple of different steps, but for a tutorial, I'm just, kind of gonna speed it up a little bit. So, my red, shake it up, I already shook it a little bit, but hopefully my, I don't know if I've even, you know what? I'm pretty sure my husband picked up the spray paint and it's the wrong color, but it is what it is. All right, I just do a test spray to make sure like no drips come out or whatever, because you want it to be not like clumpy um, and I just hold it up hopefully you guys can see and so the bottom part of this is gonna be red so I spray like the bottom first and I just spray like over where the stripes are Ugh. Looks pretty good. Let me make sure. All right, so we're done with the red. All right, now blue. We're gonna see how much blue we can get out of this one, this can. <laughs> and I just spray this one. Um, And yeah, I know, I should wear gloves, but I don't have time for that. So I just kind of spray the blue around there. This is the light blue. Oh my gosh. See, that's what happens, y'all. Fail. It's super hard trying to do a tutorial <laughs> like how my uh, camera is set up. All right, put that one down. <laughs> Hopefully I'm entertaining you guys. And then before I go in and do some distressing, I always spray it with um, the navy in some spots, which kind of just helps to darken it a little bit before, um, just in like random spots. So then it already kind of has like a little bit of Good, Courtney. I'm glad I'm not alone. <laughs> Ugh, all this paint makes the noodle sticky. Um, yeah, I know. That would have been awful if it landed on the floor and had, like, dust and, I'm sure, dog hair and whatever else all over it. Um, all right, so I'm trying to think of how I'm going to do this. So, typically, I would wait for this to dry Oh yeah, my hands are like covered in spray paint, at least like 
five days of the week. Um, so normally I would wait for this to dry and then peel off the vinyl. <laughs> yeah. But I don't know. We're going to see if we can just, I don't know if I want to distress it first or just try to go ahead and take the vinyl off. I don't know. Mm. Oh, and also I just use this tool to um, take off the vinyl. Yeah, I know, but I don't have anywhere to put a PVC pipe. If, um, like when I set it down, I don't have any kind of like fancy drying station or anything. Uh, I don't know. I might go ahead and just try to distress it some. I do it like multiple ways, y'all. It's just whatever I'm feeling. Um, so I just use like whatever black I can find. I might use like a couple. Black. This is a like metallic gray. So I just like pour a little bit on my tray. And This is just folk art navy or whatever ink spot I think it's called, but just navy or dark blue would work. A sock. <laughs> That's a good idea. <laughs> oh, that's smart. Well, usually I do this. Um, I mean, I spray paint it, and then just, it's just the angle that I was holding it at, because I'm kind of standing, like, behind my iPad. So it was just an awkward angle. All right, and then I take a... Um, I just take a dry bristle brush <laughs> and just kind of I mean there's really like no right or wrong way how to do it I mean I usually um, make the tops and the bottom a little bit darker to give it like a more like warm feel I just kind of like dip it in the black and dip it in like the navy blue and just kind of like dab it off so there's not a whole lot of paint on there and then I just kind of I'm trying to like watch this to make sure you guys can see like what I'm doing um, so I usually go like around the top once and then around like the bottom And then kind of in the middle where like the red and blue meet. And then I just kind of go back over it. Um, and then just kind of like bring it down a little bit in some spots. Y'all, it is hot as balls in my garage right now. I do have a fan out here, but um, don't forget your bottom too, if you wanna distress that. I have a fan, but I figured it would be too loud for y'all to hear me. So I just kind of like, you know, go over random spots. And two, like when you 
start distressing it, you may think that your lines look a little bit too harsh, but once you, like your paint lines, but once you put epoxy over it, it kind of um, smooths everything out. So it doesn't look like as sharp. So I just kind of, sorry guys, oh, a super awkward angle. Oh God, a heat advisory. <laughs> oh, yeah. I used to live in Texas. And I remember the summers used to get up to like 115. But it was like a different heat. <laughs> like, Texas heat is different. It's not like muggy or like, I mean, you can step outside in Georgia some days, or especially in Tennessee when I lived there. And within two minutes, you'll be like sweating like crazy. Oh, so I just kind of go around this <laughs> when your toes sweat. Oh my Lord. So my dr brush is pretty dry now. So then I'll go in, I'll take some of the metallic, like just a little bit and just kind of I don't know if y'all will be able to see like the metallic on here well I don't even know if I've got too much on my brush sorry guys this is probably like an awful tutorial this is like the most awkward angle but I didn't know how to like spray paint it and show you all this inside So I don't know if y'all can see, like there's a little, see the like the metallic gray? It just gives it like another color. Just some more interest. So then don't forget your bottoms you don't want everything to be distressed except for the bottom can y'all hear my hands like sticking to the pool noodle <laughs> ridiculous so then I think this is pretty good. It looks pretty distressed to me. Um, so because I did not take my stars off first because my spray paint was still like a little, uh, <laughs> hey Amanda. <laughs> oh yeah, I bet North Carolina is hot too. Oh gosh, don't die Jennifer. Alright, um, so be because I did not remove the stars because my paint was too sticky, I mean it's still like, I don't know, it's not super dry, but I'm just going to try to pull some of these off for y'all so you can see what it looks like. And just peel them off. And so my flags are distressed too, so there's going to be like, you know, little cuts of paint in between each of them. And then I will go back with um, a little bit more paint and distress some of the stars and stripes a little bit. So they don't look, you know, like super out of place.
<laughs> Sticky hands. Y'all, it is so hot. I have like sweat dripping down my boobs. I know y'all want to know that, but just in case you're wondering. <laughs> yeah, sticky pool noodles are kind of gross. to see where my drama come on star Stripes are. Um, I don't have one. This one was just an order um, that I had to do. So I figured I would make a tutorial for you guys. Um, I might have one in the group and one of the albums with cups, maybe. I think that's all my vinyl yuck all this crap um I don't have a file for this this one was one that I like I think that I purchased the flag one like a really it was I mean it had to be over a year ago maybe two years ago and I edited like the stars and everything to make them look a little bit distressed it was just a regular flag file and I just sliced some different pieces out of it in Cricut. So now that I have um, all the like the stripes and stars exposed I'll just go back with black black and navy just a little bit. Might put some metallic in there and just like wipe it off really good because I don't want a lot this go around. And then I just kind of go back around kind of the same spots that I went the first time. So they don't look, you know, like stark white, you know.
and just kind of wherever the darker spots were last time, I just go back in with paint where those darker, spot, that darker spots are and just distress that white glitter a little bit. Yeah, this is, this one is glitter. Usually I just do like regular white ones, but a lot of times like the women want glitter. Just kind of go around everything with like quick motions um, and it'll help kind of blend everything a little bit. And that is pretty much it, y'all. So, I mean, you can distress it more. You can use different colors. I also use like gold on some of them. Um, but, so then I will epoxy it. Then I will put their name on it. And um, then it will be done. And I'll show y'all the finished one too. Like some of, like, a lot of these paint lines will get smoothed out with epoxy so they won't look like so they won't look like paint lines you know what I mean thanks Courtney and I will say too that um, if and you can do it either way I've done it both but I have started where if they just want white stars not glitter I will just um, add the white vinyl after I spray paint and I will not remove it. I will just leave it on and then just distress over top of that. I used to do it just like this where I would paint everything white, apply the vinyl, spray paint the blue and red, then remove the vinyl and distress. And then I started thinking, well, if it's white, then why do I need to remove the vinyl? Yeah, so it's pretty easy. Do you guys have any questions before I get off of here? And go clean my hands. I knew I still have vinyl stuck to me. Oh gosh, measurements. Um. <laughs> The, the file, I don't know what, what, I mean, it was just a flag that I purchased like one or two years ago and I, and I went in and just like distressed the stars by like slicing pieces out of it in, in design space. And then I changed it over to Silhouette software when I got that. Um, for measurements, I honestly couldn't tell you. <laughs> I want to say, I don't have a ruler out here. Um... I mean, I use different measurements. I have two different ones that I saved. Let me, hang on, let me go grab a ruler. The, this one is for 30 ounce, and the stars are probably, I'll just hold it up for you guys. It's probably like a little less than one and a half. And for the stripes, this is how 
long the stripes are. About eight and a half is the longest one that I have. And then I just make a couple smaller ones. Um, for the 20 ounce cups, I do them a little bit smaller. Uh, no, Amberly, it doesn't matter. Um, show what they look like on a 12 by 12 piece. What do you mean by that? Like a 12 by 12 piece of vinyl? This? <laughs> I don't know if that's what you're asking. This is a 12 by 12 piece of vinyl. I can get two 30 ounce ones on here. If I did a 30 ounce, I could do a 30 ounce and two 20 ounces also. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> so I usually just print out like whatever will fit on like a 12 by 12 sheet and um, just so I'll have it. So next time somebody orders one, I'll already have my vinyl ready to go. Thank you, Brittany. Any more questions, guys? All right, well, if y'all don't have any more questions, yeah, it would look really cool on a can cooler. Um, all right, well, if y'all, I'm going to go ahead and jump off of here. I'm going to let this dry because the spray paint is still like a little tacky. So I'll let this dry before I epoxy it. And if you guys think of any more questions you have about it, just let me know. All right. All right, y'all have a great day.